Now at 11 o'clock, making good come from the awful. Tonight, a special update to a wreck in 2020 that killed a teenager from Charlotte. Her twin was with her in the car when an accused drunk driver in Spartanburg County slammed into them. Ever since, Mallory Stokes has been trying to honor her sister Mia, and this past New Year's Eve did so by helping others get home safely. Our Nikki Hauser is live here in the studio with a story you're only going to see on WBTV. Nikki. Yeah, Molly, the Mia Stokes Foundation gave Mallory, the surviving sister, a focus and a way to cope and also keep Mia close to her heart. Her mission in all of this and informing that foundation has spread across the country. And last week she raised thousands of dollars to buy Uber and Lyft gift cards to give to people so that they wouldn't be getting behind the wheel after drinking. And so that's kind of how it started. As the head of her own foundation at 21 years old. This was our most popular one. Selling thousands of dollars worth of personalized clothing. This one. Mallory Stokes is motivated and impressive. I never expected it to go as crazy as it has. Even more so when you learn who she's doing it for. Almost three years ago, on February 7th, 2020, Mallory lost her twin sister Mia in a car accident in Spartanburg County. An accused drunk driver crashed into these Charlotte twins with two other friends also inside. Mallory and her softball teammate Devin Roy survived. Mia and another teammate, Grace Revels, did not. I mean, it's, it's tough, especially like... I mean, survivor's guilt is still huge, like why her, not me. Mallory created the Mia Stokes Foundation in 2021, making sweatshirts, hats, and other gear marked with Mia's own handwriting to keep the God goal she made to spread the word of Jesus. She's raised $94,000 so far, close to six figures, with every penny going towards organizations Mia cared about, or ones that help curb drunk driving, like Mothers Against Drunk Driving. It would be really easy for her to just give up and just kind of just, you know, stay at the house and not really do anything. But she's kind of taken this dark time and turned it into a really bright spot for everybody in the house. Last week, Mallory raised nearly $10,000 to give $25 Uber and Lyft gift cards to people to encourage them to get a safe ride home. It means so much to us that people love her enough or they care enough to help us, you know, make an impact in some way. And in the future, Mallory plans to release more shirts and keep that foundation going. The family is also waiting on the trial for the accused drunk driver, but they tell me that it's been pushed back five times since 2022 and they don't have a set date as of now. So we will keep you updated on what comes out of that. Molly. Okay.